Debbie's Design Diary dot com. This is Serial DIY, one house repurposed week by week. This is episode twenty, the image transfer cabinet, and part three to the story of how I got my store in Solana Beach. Bobby and I go to Kobe swap meet. We go down there twice a month and we load up the truck with a bunch of things and we repaint it. We sell it in the shop. We got this cabinet for $20. We have two blacks in DIY. We've got black velvet and we've got little black dress. These are the these are these are the two blacks right here. I used little black dress for this cabinet. Little black dress is a true black. This is a soft black. Bobby and I found some wheels for the cabinet, then we headed over to one of our favorite vendors, Khalif King 321 on Instagram. Do you give any secrets away on where you find the good stuff? I always say the same thing, that I was drunk and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good That's a answer. <laughs> it's a secret. It's like the truth without, secret. <laughs> yeah, you know, without lying. You add to my videos. Unless I ruin it. As Bobby added the wheels to my cabinet, I tried to convince him to be on camera. But he likes to remain a mystery. However, he is in one of my videos. Do you remember which one? Slow down. Just for a minute. Hold up. I wanted the cabinet to look like vintage chalk art. So I chose little black dress for the background color. DIY paint is clay based. It covers in one coat with no need to prime or sand for this piece. Just like it should. In the middle of editing this video, I had to rush down to the store because we were getting a bunch of new things in for the holidays. We're getting ready for the holiday season. And this is just one of the shipments that we've gotten recently. So we gotta get it all unpacked and I have to finish this video so I can tell you about our holiday open house. I know that I need to tell you part three to the story of how I finally got this store. One of my favorite parts about having a store is buying all the fun stuff. In last week's video, I was telling you about how I called my landlord for three and a half years to get this blue house that my shop is in today. Oh, we're celebrating our 20 year anniversary coming up. We, it didn't start off so easy. Let me refresh your memory. The best way to do it, I think, is just to show you how I edit videos. It's right here. So, yeah. If you haven't seen part one and part two, there'll be a link up above so that this part of the video makes more sense. And she tells me that when she went to go return the keys, the guy with the blue house had come by. He had decided to finally rent it to me. I, I, I had no response. It was too devastating to even be true. The one thing that was going through my head was that a grumpy old landlord who totally didn't deserve it was going to get the blue house. Couldn't get over that feeling that someone else who, who had not done all the work, who had not made the 300 phone calls, was just going to waltz in and get the blue house. I, I was also thinking about my mom and how adamant she was that we not sign a year lease and that we could get out of our lease because we were going month to month. I, I just knew that I had to go back and talk to my mom and tell her that I had to call him and, and tell him we were ready to move into the blue house and to not rent it to anybody else. I was scared because my mom, she's very conservative and I knew that she was gonna be really upset about that. My mom's waiting for me, she's looking at me she, and I look at her and I'm like, mom, I have to call him. You're the one who said don't sign a year contract, so it's a sign. We're supposed to be in this blue house and I need and to I do, it do it now, it now before, before anybody, anybody else, else gets it. <laughs> I used white swan right here. This stamp right here from Iron Orchid Design. It's a scripty stamp. I tried to read it. it. It says something like some guy is writing a letter to somebody. I don't know. And I rolled the paint on the stamp and then I pressed it to the cabinet. Drinking it in while I'm drifting. I used a brayer away. and white swan. It's important to sand the stamp first and move quickly because DIY paint dries fast. 
through the cosmos and out into space you are my oxygen but you're gone 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 <laughs> Stamps can be kind of scary in the beginning. I did do it wrong the first time. You're going to see it, but it's really easy. You just paint over it real quick and do it again. I, go, I, I recommend practicing on paper first. It takes a little while to figure out the amount of paint to apply and how hard to press. I can do. I've been talking to your goal. Oh, you're the only one who knows. Oh. I wasn't concerned with getting the stamp on perfectly. I wanted the letters to look like they were distressed and they had been on the cabinet for a while. Almost, almost, almost. She paused and she said, Deborah, fine. I will move with you to the blue house under one condition. My mom always had a condition. She tells me that the condition is, is that this landlord, oh my gosh, look how, look how cute these are. That the new landlord had to agree to wait until January 1st. We can't afford to move right now. She said, if he agrees, then we can go there. So I call him up again and this time, he answers the phone. This is the second time that I talked to him in three years, even though I had called him hundreds of times. Hey, this is Debbie. You know, I'm calling about the blue house. We totally want to rent it. He says, oh, I was just getting ready to call the next person on the list. I thought you guys weren't interested. And no, 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 we haven't moved on. We're just in a month to month lease and we can get out of it. Then he tells me, the reason why he called me was because he had had so many rude messages over the three years that the house was vacant, that people lost their patience, left him nasty voicemails, and I was the only one who was nice. Dion from the Turquoise Iris, she sent me this painting. These two right here are transfers, but the rest of it she hand painted. It's one of my favorite paintings that she's ever done. Because I like to copy her, this painting right here was the inspiration for the entire piece. Actual transfer right here, it rolls out. You take a little plastic stick and you rub it on like a, kind of like a temporary tattoo. I've never been known for my cautious side. You should know that I'm well away. I cut up the Bohemian transfer to use as a border for the top and the bottom of my cabinet. We sell these transfers in my shop. I will also add a link to find IOD products in your area. Thinking of this over, so let us just do my love and see where this road will take us now. Then I used the floral transfer, cutting it and wrapping it around the side as I worked across the cabinet. Now's the part where I have to ask him, oh yeah, well, um, we're just wondering if, would it, would it be all right if we wait? We'll sign the contract, but could we have our rent start on January 1st because we have to get through the holidays and we're on a tight budget and would it be okay for, you know, for you to wait two more months? He says, Sure, why not? I was shocked. I was like, oh my goodness. These are coasters shaped like giant buttons, big giant buttons. I'm getting sidetracked. I want to set up a meeting to sign the lease as soon as possible so that nobody else gets it. I literally am like jumping up and down. Like I think I kissed the ground. I was so happy. This is the transfer part of Dion's painting, but the rest of it, she did all by hand. She paints with her fingers. If you're not familiar with her, I'm gonna link her YouTube channel down below. The way I'm gonna get more of the hand painted look, I'm gonna use this stamp right here. It's another stamp by Iron Orchid Design and it's called Painterly Roses. You cut them out and you 
put them on and you put them in layers and it, it makes it look like you, you painted roses by hand, but you didn't. Drinking it in while I'm drifting away. Using the brayer, I cut the rose stamps, layering several shades of red and pink, starting with the lightest color first. Through the cosmos. And then I added the leaves and the stems, doing the same thing with various shades of green. But you're gone, gone, gone. Anywhere I go, I swear I can feel you. My dad and I immediately started renovating the blue house. The memory that stands in my mind more than anything else is getting these right here. We signed the contract and I remember turning the keys in the lock for the first time and just knowing that it was a memory that I should never ever forget. Never even seen the inside of the blue house. It was all locked up and gated and all I could do was peek through the windows and my dad and I walk in, it's filled with mice. I just remember telling myself, don't forget this moment. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how many struggles you go through, don't forget this moment. And I never do, especially on the hard days, which there are a lot of. Will it focus on it? It's a it's a keychain and it says worst driver but cute. I'm, it's not that I'm a bad driver, I'm just a nervous driver. You want to take a piece of chalk. You want to use white chalk. I wanted it to have like that gritty chalkboard look with all the chalkboard dust before I put on the sealer. This is big top. This will deepen the color and it will protect it. I rubbed white chalk over the entire surface and then I wiped it back with a cloth. Then I applied Big Top to seal it and deepen the color. I got the blue house. I wish I could say that it was a happy ending. I taped it right here to the back of my cash register. It was a daily reminder of this little piece of paper that said you will be unusually successful in business and it stayed taped to the back of my counter for over a decade. I needed it there because it is hard to have a retail store. In the other two videos I talk about the signs, the car radio speaking to me. I held on to these little tidbits of hope to just get me through life. If it were not for the long wait, all of the signs, and all of the obstacles that led me to this blue house, I don't think I would still be open after 20 years. This journey strengthened my faith and my belief that I'm where I'm supposed to be. It also gave me the courage to keep going through many hard years. I did eventually find success, but that's a story for another video. invited to come celebrate our 20th year with us on November 17th. The first 12 people in the door will get to make this beautiful ornament with Annie Sevier design. We will have many free workshops all day and lots of creative gifts for the special people on your list. Come meet us at the Blue House. Official details and directions will post tomorrow in the link below. And I'll go live on my Facebook page to answer any questions. Hope to see you next weekend. I'm feeling good, just like it should. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell DIY products in your store, click the link below. Thanks for watching.